guys, welcome to the weekly update. Beastly Gamer here. We got some great games coming out this week, and I wanted to give you guys the update on them right now. First off, we got The Amazing Spider Man 2. This game will be coming to the PS4, the PS3, the Xbox 360, the Wii U, the 3DS, and the PC console. You guys definitely give this game a shot or check out. It looks really entertaining. Uh, they, of course, it doesn't follow the exact story of the movie. There are more villains and more story to it. But it does look pretty entertaining. You guys, be sure to check that game out. It comes out on the 29th. Next up, we got Daylight, which will be coming to the PlayStation 4 and PC consoles only. Now, Daylight is an exclusive. It looks really fun. It looks very scary. You guys, check this game out. If you like games like Outlast, then Daylight will probably suit your taste. So be looking for that. That's also coming out on April 29th. Next we got Child of Light. This game is an indie. It looks very fun, very colorful. It's a whole new take on gaming. It's coming to the PS4, the PS3, the Xbox One, Xbox 360, the Wii U, and PC. You guys be looking for this game. It was all over PAX. Many, many gamers thought it was the best game of PAX. You guys be looking for this game on April 30th. We got some Nintendo 3DS games coming in May. Kirby Triple Deluxe will be coming to the 3DS on May 2nd. So if you've been waiting for a good adventure game platformer for your 3DS, Kirby is probably the way to go. Kirby is a time-tested franchise, and more than likely this game will be worth its wait. You guys be looking for that on May 2nd. Also coming on May 2nd is Mario Golf World Tour. This game will also be on the 3DS, so if you're looking for a good Mario Golf game, something to hold you over until maybe Smash Brothers comes out, May 2nd, Mario Golf World Tour on the Nintendo 3DS. And last but not least, PlayStation 4 Update 1.7 is confirmed for April 30th, so you guys looking forward to disabling the HDCP on your PS4 so you can plug your Aver Media, plug your Elgato into it, and capture beautiful gameplay footage, that's going to be enabled now. You're actually going to go into the console, disable HDCP, and record video game footage. Also, the share factory functionality will be with this pack, so you will have an editor for your video game footage so you can take the video game footage that you capture, edit it, put transitions in it, and make it really nice and pretty for Facebook or any social media that you might be using. Well, that's your weekly update for April 28, 2014. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.